The Renaissance and Age of Exploration mark a transformative period in history, characterized by profound advancements in art, science, and global exploration. This epoch, spanning from the 14th to the 17th century, witnessed a resurgence of learning and creativity, laying the foundation for modern Western culture. Leonardo da Vinci is sometimes called the Renaissance man due to his proficiency in diverse fields like art, science, and engineering. The Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci is believed to have been a portrait of Lisa Gherardini, a Florentine woman. Leonardo's notebook contains over 13,000 pages of illustrations and observations on various topics, from flight to anatomy. Michelangelo's Sistine Chapel ceiling took four years to complete, from 1508 to 1512. The David statue by Michelangelo was sculpted from a single block of marble, and stands at 17 feet tall. Michelangelo was also an accomplished poet, having written over 300 poems during his lifetime. Raphael's School of Athens is a representation of philosophy and features great philosophers like Plato and Aristotle in its composition. Jan van Eyck's Arnolfini portrait is renowned for its detailed reflection in the convex mirror on the wall. Albrecht Dürer is credited with introducing the Italian Renaissance style to the Northern Renaissance. Medici family played a significant role in the Renaissance, patronizing artists like Botticelli, Leonardo da Vinci, and Michelangelo. Isabella d'Este, known as the First Lady of the Renaissance, was an influential art patron and collector. Chiaroscuro, an artistic technique, emphasizes the contrast between light and dark to give an illusion of volume. The linear perspective technique allowed artists to depict a three-dimensional space on a flat surface. Nicholas Copernicus proposed the heliocentric model, which positioned the Sun at the center of the solar system. Galileo's observation of the phases of Venus provided evidence against the geocentric model of the universe. Kepler's first law states that planets move in elliptical orbits with the Sun at one focus. Andreas Vesalius' work De Humani Corporis Fabrica is a foundational text in the study of human anatomy. Paracelsus emphasized the importance of observation in medicine, leading a shift from mysticism to empirical methods. Luca Pacioli's Divina Proportion explores the mathematical and artistic properties of the golden ratio. Christopher Columbus's first voyage in 1492 was funded by Spanish monarchs Ferdinand and Isabella. The Colombian exchange introduced crops like potatoes and maize to Europe, while bringing European goods and diseases to the Americas. Ferdinand Magellan's expedition became the first to circumnavigate the Earth, though Magellan himself died before its completion. Vasco da Gama's discovery of a sea route to Asia around the Cape of Good Hope decreased the need for land-based trade routes. Hernán Cortés' conquest of the Aztec Empire in 1521 marked the beginning of Spanish colonization in the Americas. Francisco Pizarro's conquest led to the downfall of the Inca Empire and the establishment of Spanish rule in Peru. John Cabot, an Italian explorer, is credited with discovering parts of the North American coast under the English flag. Johannes Gutenberg's invention of the printing press in the 15th century revolutionized book production, spreading knowledge faster. Humanism emphasized the importance of individual experience and reasoning, leading to advancements in arts, science, and philosophy. Martin Luther's 95 Theses, posted in 1517, sparked the Protestant Reformation and challenged the Catholic Church's teachings. Florence, Venice, and Milan were major city-states during the Renaissance, each known for their distinct cultural and economic achievements. Dante's Divine Comedy is one of the earliest literary works written in the vernacular, serving as an inspiration for future writers. The rise of secularism during the Renaissance led to a diminished influence of the Church in daily life and politics. Machiavelli's The Prince offers guidance on political leadership, often emphasizing pragmatic over moral solutions. 
The Medici Bank, founded in the 14th century, was one of the most prosperous and respected financial institutions in Europe. Colonization of the New World brought both opportunities and challenges, from finding gold to dealing with indigenous populations. The transatlantic slave trade resulted in the forced migration of approximately 12 million Africans to the Americas. Renaissance clothing was characterized by its bright colors, lavish materials, and detailed embroidery. Festivals like Carnival were significant events in Renaissance cities, marked by masks, dances and feasts. The emergence of centralized monarchies during the Renaissance era marked a move away from feudal systems. The Age of Discovery opened new trade routes, leading to increased global interactions and the spread of goods, ideas, and diseases. The Renaissance era saw a rise in commerce, and the establishment of trade guilds, fostering economic growth in Europe. <laughs>